12 championship, the last team not named Texas to win a Big 12 championship was. First look at Zoe Fleck. I know that Asia O'Neill got the kill, but a perfect dime. I'm using this energy to get Texas a little uncomfortable. Defensive specialist Bryn Kirsch on to serve. Ripped through the block that time by Maddie Skinner, six foot two, number one ranked player out of the state of Indiana. Freshman Dalton doing a nice job, number seven in white, moving the ball around for Kansas. Look at Zoe Fleck again, and Halter flying all over the place. Not a good set there, and Alnani tried to challenge the low seam. Not advisable. <laughs> She's gonna get after it. Hussers. 17 aces against 12 errors so far, and Texas again, well off the net, out of system. Ripped over the top of the block by Eggleston. Right. Not necessarily lost. Here's Dalton again. You cannot serve Zoe Fleck. How do you get the ball away from her? The imposing force there in the middle. Where does Kansas go now with this serve? Well, I think they've been attacking Eggleston to try to take her out, especially this side with Skinner. Oh, good pass. One on one over the top, Doug, but just over the sideline, the end was there. Really, what an opening set comeback by the Jayhawks. And this crowd is loving it. Kansas puts up only the fourth set loss all season for the undefeated. And currently, number one ranked Texas Longhorns back with recent. Get Skinner back on the right side. Right on cue, Maddie Skinner. Wearing number six in burnt orange. 3.1 kills so far in the year. It swings, but now she's out. Kelly Akana on to serve. That ball can't drop. It has brought in Melanie Parra, the 5'11 sophomore out of Mexico. Birdmark getting a set if they can get it up to her. Good response into the deep cross court corner. Molly McCarthy, number 19, 5'11 freshman out of Rancho Mirage, California. Better known as Palm Springs, but the nicer suburb thereof had been on to serve nicely handled by Texas. Texas has hit four balls out of bounds. Here's Turner. And those points, those are points you're giving to the other team. Are uh, smartly played, number four in burnt orange. Able to get the ball to the floor. And those giveaway points are very uncharacteristic. Texas has not done that throughout the entire preseason. They have made teams have to earn every single point. So this, this particular match, they're just a little more out We're of... We're quickly turning. The lead for Kansas was 16 to 11, then 17 11, tied now at 18. Well, it's so great to see two fantastic coaches at work and the changes they make, how they impact the game. Kansas got to convert on this free ball, not a perfect pass. And that ball missed out of bounds. Nobody Ferris, the lead role for Kansas, has been exceptional, as has Fleck. A lot of sets to the right side, kind of Torres. Okay. That also is due to what a beautiful set that was, allowing her every aspect of the court to hit into. Nice read and tip that time by Kaina Torres. Well, London Davis, seven of nine. Rachel Langs was questionable because of the injuries she's had. It was back to serve. She has been really solid, easy serve. Uh, it's going to be a double contact. And with Skinner rotating into the front court for Texas, it's an opportunity for them to get her the ball as much as possible. Good set by Dalton. Hell, Nadia is roofed. Maddie Skinner with the stuff, and look who's on. Kayla Caffey, the six-foot redshirt senior. The serve, float serve. She gets it in a seam. It's really tough to get to. Had 60 aces last year. Good response, good pass. Oh, that ball was down. You could hear that ball hit the floor. Eggleston off the edge of the block and down. Right it's off the ground. Nice little run by Parr and Texas to get back in. This on the overpass. No doubt from Kathy. 4-0 run for Texas. 
When you talk to coaches, they'll just say the same thing over and over, that volleyball is a serve, service -y. Lineup changes back to the 5-1. Turner back in the front court, two hitters. Parra has made a difference from the service line and defensively, and so has Skinner. Starting to light it up, 13 kills on 20 swings for Maddie Skinner. Thought we might have had it the play before. Listen to this sophomore, in spite of the fact that she played two years at Nebraska, because the COVID situation will go on and through the end of the 2024 season. Right side, oh, look out. London Davis had been... A little more offensively, they're in a good position as they hit that 20-point mark. Now they can just keep the pressure on. Ace serve by Parra. 22-17. And who else to serve at the end of this third set than Parra, who really started out the third set in control from behind the service line. Kansas is out of timeouts to confirm. Tough serve again. That was two contacts. Para getting on a roll. Remember, she had 60 aces last year. Before tonight, only had three on the season, but what a weapon. And that hybrid serve has a spin that especially if it gets in a seam in between two passers. It's, it's going to be a net violation called against Kansas. And Texas is on the board. Amy, they take the third, 25 to 18. We were talking to Melanie Parra, who had a really good service run to go along with a couple of aces as well. In that all-important third set, smart coaching, get her back at the line, try to establish it early on, Parra. Outside hitter, the 5'11 sophomore out of Mexico, going number four in Burn Orange, will start things off for the Longhorns. What a dig. Kaina Torres with a stab. And that ball is to the floor once again by Skinner. When you look at the numbers... Play until that uh, whistle blows. They are not giving up. They really are scrappy, and their whole team gets after it. Well, and again, that was a very, very good option. Angles is really a surprise for the defense. Saw that block on Eggleston, who's back at the line now by Kansas. 11 stuff blocks for Kansas, 4 for Texas. Good pass. That ball battled for by Langs, the drop. Good dig back to back by Ferris. The end is taking some really difficult swings. Para quickly, no right side again to the middle. And become a hitter, and that is hard mentally as well as physically. McCarthy on to serve. That is a good serve to area five. And a better swing by Para down inside. Texas hitting 301 on the match after Kansas leading by a significant margin has dropped back to 245. All the Kansas hitters stacked on the left side. Oh! Big block on the outside by Skinner. Should have been a double. Kansas wants a double contact. That's a subjective call. Big point. Kansas was way ahead in the point. And Asia O'Neill. Good swing that time. Melanie Parra ripping from about eight feet off the net. She's got a dynamic arm swing. Does a really nice job with different swings. We see it in the surf. Looking to force a fifth set. What a dig that time by Halter. Poor set in transition, kept alive by O'Neill. Eggleston down the line was dug that time by Turner. 
But enough of that offense on their side. Just check the graphic. Thank you very much. No timeouts for Texas. Forgot they had taken their second. Good block touch by El Nadi. Off the top of the block and down, the Kansas fans, a lot of them really wanted a mishandled ball on that last rally. But first contact is launched. Yeah. Kansas starting in row one, rotation one, with a setter in the right back. Good swing, wow. And a much better delivery for Kyle. Really smart, and you've got Eggleston and Skinner in the front row, so Texas wants to come out swinging. To me, a really important early row. Tough serve, really tough serve. Effort by BN to keep it alive. Oh, net violation. What a save by BN and a dig by Kirsch. Well, I think net violation. That's where BN has been so fantastic. Offensively, hasn't had the production she's wanted. Good block deflection by Kaina Torres, and what a choice. What a choice going to Eggleston. At number one in the country. Kansas at 10 and two. Dug by Eggleston, up into the beam, legal play, ball stays on your side! And Kansas let the ball drop. She's so quick, her arm's so fast with that quick wrist away. It's tough for a block to get up in front of her. It's going to be interesting to look at scores tomorrow, but they're going to be a lot of really close kicker. There is Akana. Stuff block again. That's another area where Texas really picked it up. 25-18, 25-22, and 15-9. to 9. 